Hello, welcome to another video from Accounting How. In this video, we are going to look at how to record a bonus issue in a statement of changes in equity. Please do remember to subscribe. Thank you to those that have subscribed. Um, it does make a difference in keeping the channel um, going. Um, so please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, like, share, and you can also follow us on Twitter at Accounting How. Let us know either on Twitter uh, or in the comments uh, what other videos uh, you would like. This is the question that we are going to look at. Um, as with all videos, if this is a topic that you are familiar with, you might wish to pause here, have a go at it yourself, and then play the rest of the video and work through and check um, your answer against mine. Um, or stay with me and we will work through it together. The following information has been extracted from the equity section of the Statement of Financial Position of Brush PLC at 31st December 2021. So we've got some issued share capital, share premium, a revaluation reserve, retained earnings. Additional information, so have a quick skim uh, read. We've been told shares have a nominal value of 20 pence each. Um, 1st of July, an interim dividend was paid. 1st of August, the directors made a bonus issue. And point number four, profit after tax for the year was 106.708. And we are being asked, to prepare the statement of changes in equity for Brush PLC for the year ended 31st December 2022, a total column is not required. You will see that I have drawn out my statement of changes in equity. Um, I have my title, so who, it's for Brush PLC, what am I looking at, a statement of changes in equity, and when for, for the year ended 31st December 2022. First thing I need to do is to head up each of my columns and remember a statement of changes in equity is just that, it's focusing on the items that can be found within the equity section um, in a statement of financial position. And we've been given these things in the, uh, the beginning of the question. Uh, Brush PLC within their equity section, they have some issued share capital, some share premium, a revaluation reserve, and some retained earnings. So to start um, the statement, all I need to do is enter the opening balances. Well, in the question, we've been told that the balances in the SFP at the 31st of December 2021 were those. So if they were the balances at the end of last year, they're now going to become the balances, the opening balances at the start of this financial year. So at the 1st of January 2022, and all I'm doing is just literally copying the figures uh, from the question. That's my starting position, my opening balances. Now I'm going to start working through um, the additional information. So the first point tells me shares have a nominal value of 20 pence each. We'll come back to that in a second. And the first thing that's happened then during this year, on the 1st of July 2022, an interim dividend of three pence per share was paid on all shares in issue at that date. Interim dividends, so these are dividends that are paid partway through the year. Um, often a company will make an interim dividend um, just so that uh, the shareholders don't have to wait a full year uh, before they see some sort of return on their investment. Um, so interim dividends um, are different to final dividends just because they're paid partway through the year. So the, the uh, dividend paid was three pence per share based on all the shares in issue at that date. So I need to know how many shares were in issue at that date. So I can put my narrative and there is my narrative, dividends paid during the year, but you'll see I've put W1 because I need to do some working. I need to find out um, how much this has cost the company to pay these dividends. So first thing, as I say, is to find out how many shares they have issued already. And to do that, I need to look at the issued share capital, which we were told was £480,000. And this is where then the nominal value becomes important. Nominal value is sometimes referred to as face value. The nominal value, the face value stays the same. Um, so this, this isn't the market value. This isn't what the shares were, are, are being traded at 
bought and sold for by the shareholders. This is face value. This is a constant value that never changes. And the main reason for that is to enable us to work out how many shares have been issued at any one time. So this company has got £480,000 of share capital and the nominal value of a share is 20 pence. So all I've got to do is divide that uh, 480 uh, by the 20p and it tells me, as you can see there, the company has issued 2.4 million shares. Now I can work out the, uh, the cost of the dividends and in point two we were told that each of these shares uh, received a dividend of 3 pence. So the interim dividend paid is the 2.4 million shares multiplied by 3 pence. Um, these are the questions, it's always just um, necessary to be careful with all your zeros because you typically find that the number of shares is in the thousands, the hundreds of thousands or the millions, whereas dividends tend to just be a few pence each uh, per share. So just uh, be very careful with your decimal places and your zeros. So we can see that the interim dividend has cost £72,000. A dividend is a share of profit being paid out to shareholders as a reward for investing. If I go to my statement of changes in equity, a uh, profit that's made goes to retained earnings. Any profit that's been kept in the company um, increases retained earnings. So when we pay out dividends, they then come from the retained earnings. And you can see I've uh, subtracted it there, the 72,000 ready to come out of the retained earnings. OK, next thing to do then is to move on to the third item, um, which is the bonus issue. You'll see I've put my narrative there, bonus issue of shares, and this is going to need another working. So I've got W2 working number two, and I've labelled that up and I'm ready to begin. So let's read the uh, information. On the 1st of August 2022, so one month after the uh, dividends were paid, the directors made a bonus issue on the basis of one new share for every two held. The directors wish to maintain maximum flexibility with regard to the payment of dividends. So first thing I need to work out is how many shares uh, Brush PLC has given out um, in the bonus issue. So I need to know how many shares have they currently got well, I've already worked that out when I did the dividends. So if we think back to when I did working one, I used that formula and we worked out this company has already issued 2.4 million shares. So the bonus issue, what they've decided is, um, if I go back to the information, the bonus issue was on the basis of one new share for every two shares held. So my formula, my working, you can see there. So there's the 2.4 million shares that are already in existence, that have already been issued. And then for every two that um, shareholders have got, they have been, they've been given um, one. So it was one new share, one bonus share for every two held. So you'll see I've got 2.4 million then divided by two and then multiplied by one. For every two that you hold, um, they have been able to, well, they've been rewarded, they've been given one bonus share. So the total number of shares that the company has given out in the bonus issue is 1.2 million. Um, I can't put that in as a number of shares into the statement of changes in equity uh, because hopefully you're familiar with the money measurement concept. And the money measurement concept tells us that um, things recorded in the uh, financial uh, statements need to be in monetary value. And so the 1.2 million shares, I need to put this into pounds. And I go back to the nominal value, which is 20 pence each. And I can see then that the cost of the bonus issue, um, it's cost this company £240,000. Uh, 1.2 million shares times 20p each. A bonus issue is always made at the nominal value. So you might be familiar with a share premium, um, which can come into play with a rights issue of shares or just a general issue of shares. But in a bonus issue of shares, um, it is always made at the nominal value. There's never a share premium. So if I go to my statement of changes in equity, the issued share capital then is going to increase by £240,000. And there it is. And the way a bonus issue of shares works is the company is, is effectively funding this bonus issue. It doesn't raise any cash for the company. What is happening is the company is effectively just restructuring their equity section. This video is just focusing on how to do it. 
um, rather than uh, rather than the y. Um, so let's just keep going with how we're going to work this out. So 240,000 and that has to be funded. And in the question, it said the directors wish to maintain maximum flexibility with regard to the payment of dividends. That means that um, if we look at the uh, reserves they've got, they've got the share premium, the revaluation reserve and the retained earnings. Out of those three, the only one that can be used to pay dividends is retained earnings because that's that's called a revenue reserve. And that's the only one that has been generated from trading, from buying, selling and uh, the profit that's been generated. So companies are not allowed to use the share premium or the revaluation reserve to fund the payment of dividends. Um, the share premium and the revaluation reserve are what's known as capital reserves. But what we can use them for is for things like a bonus issue of shares. And so the companies say they want to keep flexibility. So basically, we need to use the retained earnings only if we have to, and we would use it last. So all I'm going to do is go in order then. I've got to find £240,000. Well, in the share premium, there's 165800 So I'm going to take all of that, and you'll see I've subtracted it. And I'm going to use that to um, part fund the bonus issue of shares. But it's not quite enough. So I needed £240,000. That's what the bonus issue has cost. I've taken the £165,800 out of the share premium. So I still need another £74,200. So I'm just going to move to the next uh, reserve, which is the revaluation reserve. Um, so presumably at some point uh, the company's had some assets, perhaps some land or buildings revalued upwards and they have a revaluation reserve of 120,000. And so I'm going to take 74,200 from the revaluation reserve. And then that enables me to fund that 240,000. One little tip, when you're doing a statement of changes in equity, the bonus issue row should effectively cancel itself out. We weren't asked to do a total column in this uh, question, but if we had have been, well, the total of that row would have just been zero because we've increased the issued share capital by 240,000 and then we've decreased the share premium and the revaluation reserve by a total of 240,000. And that's because, as I said a moment ago, a bonus issue doesn't raise any capital for um, a company. It's just restructuring um, the, uh, the equity section. It hasn't affected the retained earnings. Um, but if we needed to, I could have used some of that uh, as well. But in this case, I didn't need to um, use it. But we're using that last because in this question, they wanted to keep flexibility to pay their dividends. So we use the retained earnings last if we're told that because that is the only one we can use for dividends. And then we're pretty much there. Um, what's the uh, the final item? Yeah, sorry. So the final item is just the profit for the year. And we've been given that profit after tax, 106,708. So that goes straight into the retained earnings. Um, just watch that you've got the profit um, after tax, after interest and tax. It may be necessary in another question to work out and or subtract the interest and or tax. And then finally, I just total off the, uh, the statement of changes in equity to find the new balances. So where are we? 31st of December 2022. Total of the columns, you'll see the share premium has been completely wiped out. So that no longer has any balance. If I was doing the SFP extract, I wouldn't even list the share premium. The revaluation reserve has gone down and the retained earnings has ended at 114884. I hope you found that video useful. Um, again, please, please do subscribe. Um, appreciate those that are subscribing um, and hope that more of you will subscribe if you like the channel. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments. Um, if there's something else you'd like to see, um, let me know that as well in the comments. Thanks very much. Take care.